Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Searching for Sasquatch is where a witness can tell their story, unload those feelings, and get it off their shoulders. If you would like to report a sighting, email us at sfsasquatch at gmail.com or see the link in the description below. Just copy and paste the link in your email. In this report, we bring you two recent sightings. Both of them happened in the beautiful state of North Carolina. Our first report, number 65677, Class Alpha, comes to us from Montgomery County and was submitted by the witness on Thursday, July 2nd, 2020. This husband and wife were driving about 12 noon on a beautiful July day approximately one to one and a half miles north of Mount Gilead, North Carolina, heading towards the Uari National Forest. The area where the sighting took place was on a stretch of road with railroad tracks on the right and a forested area on the left with no homes in the immediate area. The wife provided us with the following report. She said, we were headed up to the Uwari National Forest in North Carolina for a day trip on 6 18 20 and was on Highway 109 North, approximately one to one and a half miles north of Mount Gilead. We were parallel to railroad tracks on the right and woods on the left. I was focused on the road. It appeared approximately 200 feet in front of the car. I didn't see it come out of the woods, but I saw it right before it crossed the road in two bounds. It was large, maybe eight foot, covered in black hair or fur. There was a difference in color in the face and hands. They were lighter in color. Once it crossed the road, it headed toward the railroad tracks and was gone by the time I got there. This all happened within a span of five to six seconds. My husband was driving, but was looking in his left side mirror at a car behind us. So let's move on to our second report today, number 64024, Class Alpha. This report comes from Swain County, North Carolina, and was submitted by the witness on Friday, January 31st, 2020. This married couple was also driving. It was early dusk with good lighting around 5.30 p.m. They were driving northeast on Needmore Road headed towards Bryson City. The area where this sighting took place was forested at a river's edge near a mountain road. The wife submitted the following report. She said, I want to report a sighting of a huge Bigfoot. As my husband and I often do, we were taking a shortcut across the mountain here in western North Carolina heading home. As I was driving along the river, there was what I thought a very strange and odd looking man. And as we passed it, I said to my husband, that is a strange looking person. And as I looked into the rearview mirror, it stood up on the road and was watching us driving away. And that is when I realized what it really was. I told my husband, that is a Bigfoot. In a panic, I drove away, but my husband insisted that we turn around and go back. I was in tears from the fear, but we found an area to turn around and I did so. As we approached that area, we saw it on the side of the road watching us. He was huge. My husband got out of the car to get a better look, and he couldn't believe what we were looking at. It had to be at least eight to nine feet tall, covered in long black hair all over its body. It was massive. We were about 100 yards away and nothing was obstructing our view. I yelled at my husband to get back into the car and I managed to turn my Jeep around and I got the heck out of there. After hearing this report, a follow-up investigation was done by BFRO investigator Matthew Moneymaker. His report is as follows. I spoke with both witnesses today by phone, Denise and Tony. In summation, it's a credible report. Two credible witnesses. The observation happened yesterday, February 1st, 2020, in North Carolina, along the Little Tennessee River, southwest of Bryson City. This is a remote, mountainous terrain. Needmore Road hugs the river for several lonely miles. There was no other traffic on Needmore. 
The Sasquatch was on the bank of the river at dusk. The sky was getting dark, but still light enough to see the figure off the short embankment next to the river. The vehicle passed the figure. Denise and Tony both saw it pass behind the vehicle in their mirrors and realized how large it was. They continued driving, but Tony urged Denise to stop and drive back so they could get another look. They drove back. When they rounded the bend and saw the section of road where the Sasquatch had been standing, it was still there on the edge of the road looking in their direction, as if it heard the vehicle coming back. They stopped as soon as the Sasquatch came into view, roughly 100 yards away. The Sasquatch could have taken a single step to get out of view, but it stood there and looked toward the vehicle. Tony got out of the vehicle to get a better view. They observed it for roughly three minutes before Denise finally started yelling for her husband to get into the car so they could leave. The Sasquatch was still standing there when Denise and Tony drove away. So that concludes our reports today on some recent sightings from the beautiful state of North Carolina. Stay tuned for more episodes. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help.